Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. Please check the description box for any upcoming lives. So make sure you check that out. Of course, it's always a good time to get a personal reading to do some soul level work. Angelsouls444.com Alright, so let's see what our card is for today. Grace and Antoinette. This is the card of conflict. Now, I said last week, I've been, I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this, but Man, it just seems like not being able to get on the same page as other people and just a lot of weirdness kind of out there and people being um, at odds with one another. Now, this could also talk about I'm in a place where I'm trying to grow and someone wants to tear me down because I'm trying to grow. Or this could be you judging people, right? Are you trying to silence people because you've been so indoctrinated to believe that to be a good human, you have to make sure everything's peaceful. Which means you are degrading, I said it, degrading the person in the room who maybe has had to put up with a lot and you tell them they're not allowed to talk about it because it would just ruin the vibe of the room. We need to wake up to that. That is one of the most toxic. It's, it's a very covert narcissist kind of move. You know, just just put up with it. Just just deal with it. Or the silencing part. That's what this is really feeling like, like getting silenced. I gave the example, uh, I think it was last week, where I was on, uh, it wasn't my live, it was someone else's live. And in the comments, there was somebody who was acting not very nice towards the host. And the moderator didn't try to shut that person down. They tried to shut those of us who were calling that person out. And it's not like we were being rude or obnoxious or abusive. We were just setting a boundary and saying, whoa, okay. The moderator came at us, me specifically, and <laughs> told us basically, you're not going to talk like that. And it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't rude or anything. It was just sort of like, hey, maybe, maybe, you know, don't do this, you know, like remember, da, 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 da. And um, when, the, when I called the moderator out, the mo because I was like, whoa, you know, don't don't you come over here and silence me, you know, <laughs> basically so many words. Why are you focusing on me? And she, ooh, covert narcissism. I mean, it was just she started playing victim, and everybody started commenting with the prayer hands for her. It was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. And I'm just sitting there. There's a reason why I'm telling you this because I sat there completely confused. Like, what just happened? Gaslighting just happened twisting everything around just happened right getting you know this one was off the rails like it was just that's the sort of thing that this card could potentially be talking about and the reason why I bring that up as an example is because there's so much of it out in the world that we do not recognize now I was very happy to see that in the comments a lot of people recognize what this moderator was doing yes <laughs> Because if you had taken us back five years, oh my gosh, any of us who set a boundary with this person, we would have, oh gosh, excommunicated, you know, like forget because you're rude and you're causing problems and all this stuff. So people are waking up, but what that looks like and what level everybody's at, we're not going to be on the same page with each other. So this is social uh, reckoning. This is asking us to wake up, Okay. But it says, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So it's not, this whole thing where people pride themselves on being nasty is so pathetic. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's me being, <laughs> but you know the type. The type is out there like, oh, you know, whatever, nah, nah, nah. I mean, oh God, and just, you know, going from zero to 60 or zero to a hundred. What's the phrase? I don't really care. Anyway, just, just going off on people. Uh, and that's not it. Standing up for yourself is admirable. Setting a boundary, especially when someone's being toxic, is admirable. But just going from like, I'm cool, now I'm defensive. No, that's not the gig. That's not what we're going for. So that's where that compassion comes in and tells us, watch what we're doing. You know, watch what you're saying. Oh, I keep hitting this microphone. Um, <laughs> watch what you're saying. Um... But at the same time, if somebody else starts twisting things around you, around on you and starts to play victim and making you out to be the bad guy, it's again, it's all this just waking up to the social ills and understanding what's really going on there. What is that game and how can we break away from it? 
Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.